Good morning, Alan. Morning. The quality of the type of supplement that they wanted to consume. I know there's so many types out there. It's hard to know which brand brand is good for them. How do they know、um, which one to buy if they're not sure? So who do they talk to, and what kind of label or ingredients or packaging do they look for? Really good question.、Um, that's a bit of a complicated answer because there's so many companies out there. There's so many supplements, as you said. So for me, what what I'll do is、I'm, I'll share how I do it in hopes that this helps your viewers and and your readers and anybody else that's watching or listening.、Right. I don't like clutter. To start off, and I find that the supplement world is full of clutter, and sometimes <laughs> it's hard. Sometimes it's hard to believe who's who, what's what, right?、Mm. So the first thing I do is this: whenever I find a,、uh, a new supplement, before I just go and buy it, I'll usually type in into Google、mm. the product's name plus reviews. So let's say it's a particular kind of protein powder, I would put in. You know, I go to Google and I type in "brand X protein powder," whatever、mm-hmm. it is, reviews,、mm-hmm. and then I would go through the list of reviews. Now, when it comes to reviews, not all reviews are real. A lot of them are actually fake. <laughs> I'm saying this because when people do their own research,、mm-hmm. they should watch. They should be aware of this, right?、Mm-hmm. First thing you're going to notice is that any company that's been around for at least a year or so. That's gotten some attention. That's becoming popular. Will usually show up as a list of articles when someone does reviews. Actually, Google like Brand X reviews.、Right. They're going to see a list of articles where a lot of people say really weird things. Mo- some may be true, but most I find are not. And usually, it says things like, "Oh, that product is a waste," or "It might be dangerous for your health," or.、Mm-hmm. Now, this particular part of the product has been known to cause cancer. That one's a big one. I hear that all the time,、mm-hmm. which is alarming because maybe it's true, right?、Mm-hmm. When I look through reviews, good or bad, what I look for is is the person talking from personal experience, or at least from a case study,、mm-hmm. or maybe some university studies、mm-hmm. to start. Number one.、Mm-hmm. Or they just talking from personal experience or hearsay. That's a big one. There's、mm-hmm. actually a lot of articles that have more hearsay, like "Oh, I heard that this can hurt you,"、mm-hmm. but they've got no evidence to back it up.、Mm-hmm. So when I read that review, uh-uh, it's out. Number two, the second thing that I look for is is this article or this review, audio or video, is it trying to sell their own product in replacement? Of brand X product that I'm looking for,、mm-hmm. and what I find is that a lot of people are writing articles saying, "Don't buy this; you should buy mine or buy this brand because." And then they list it all. It's got this many better nutrients. It's actually this cheaper. Why would I spend this much money when I can just get this much for this much money?、Mm-hmm. Which again, you got to do your own homework because maybe some of them are viable. Maybe、mm-hmm. some of those articles are true.、Mm-hmm. I find that in most cases, though, in more than less, a lot of articles are trying to just trying to sell their own stuff because they know that that company that I'm looking at is getting a lot of attention.、Mm-hmm. So these articles are getting free traffic by jumping on them and instead trying to sell their stuff in replacement.、Mm-hmm. That's super important. Okay, now that's what to look for in terms of not listening to. Certain reviews. Here's what to listen for when it comes to actually listening to reviews. Number one, I'll try to look on Amazon or in a place like maybe Reddit or some sort of website where people can leave comments.、Mm-hmm. And I try to read the comments not to buy from that particular company. Like, let's say, I want to buy a protein. I won't go to Amazon just to buy the protein. I will sometimes. But I'm not there just for the protein to buy. I am there because if they're selling it on Amazon, there's lots of reviews,、mm-hmm. and people on Amazon are generally pretty straightforward. If they、mm-hmm. like it, they'll tell you. If they don't like it, they'll <laughs> say why.、Mm-hmm. And 
Lately, I found that on Amazon, people leave reviews even showing photos of certain details that they don't like. So, for example, let's say you bought a product and you had it shipped over, and、um, you were worried. Well, you, you were worried about shipping because maybe you thought, "Oh, well, what if they don't?" Let's say it's a delicate product. Well, what what if they ship it over and oh god, maybe I should just buy it from the store. I don't know. And you want to find out? Amazon、um, reviewers, they'll take if, if they got the same product as you and it's damaged. They're they're like, "Hey, look at this! Look, it came and it's got this dent on it." A lot of people do that. I'm like, oh my god, you just saved me so much time. Thank you.、Mm-hmm. Right. So Amazon definitely, Reddit, as well is you know it's it's a forum site as you know, where people just go share knowledge. A lot of times they're bantering and like making fun of each other, but there's also <laughs> good reviews in there too.、Mm-hmm. So I'll use Reddit. I'll use Amazon. I'll use anywhere where there's a lot of honest looking reviews. And again, honest just boils down to. They're not trying to sell me something, and they're not trying to tell me on hearsay.、Mm. They are trying to tell me from either personal experience,、mm-hmm. or from at least some sort of verified piece of information from a university study, or、mm. some sort of you know well-known company. Which again, they could be skewed too. Okay, there's nothing perfect in the world today. So,、mm-hmm. in conclusion, what I'm trying to share is. Always look for advice or information where it generally looks more real, based、mm-hmm. on the fact that they're just giving you a, an, a personal opinion,、mm-hmm. versus what you may find a lot of, where it's hearsay, it's not personal experience, and worse, they're just trying to sell you on their stuff instead. That's how you find out if a product is even valuable or not.、Mm. Okay, that's a big <laughs> one. That, that took me a while to to figure out. So, in other word,、um, we have to do a lot of research by reading other people's review. What if somebody don't have that kind of time?、Um, would you recommend them to just trust someone who already have experience with the products? Might be、um, easier. Well, the, the, the explanation I gave was very number one. Like, if you、mm-hmm. actually did it yourself. Mm-hmm. And、uh, like for me, whenever I look up a, a product, it takes me maybe five minutes to read the reviews.、Mm-hmm. I don't spend a lot of time on it. Right? right, ten minutes if I'm really slow and if I'm feeling lazy that day. <laughs> But I mean, that's still you know, it's funny to say that because I just realized some people might still say, "Hey, that's five minutes." <laughs> you know, it's five、mm-hmm. minutes of my life.、Mm-hmm. When it comes to supplements, I always try to remind people, "Hey, supplements are your life." Because quality supplements can prolong your life and help you live better,、mm-hmm. live you help li- help you live stronger, happier. It can help you get better sleep, better recovery on your muscles. It can help your brain function better. It can help your gut health perform better. You can live younger for a much longer time. It's not just supplements. It's supplements. It's a big deal. So is it worth five minutes? Hell yeah! In my opinion, at least, right?、Mm-hmm. But to answer your question as well, I mean, look, if if I'm talking to a friend and it's a friend I trust,、mm-hmm. and my friend says to me, "Alan, I know you've been on this protein for so long, but dude, I'm telling you, I just tried this one, and this one is just like phenomenal. It does this, this, this. You know what I'd say?、Mm-hmm. Hey, bro, it sounds pretty good. I'll give it a shot." Yes. So yeah, to answer your question, if it's someone I trust or someone who I respect, or someone whose opinion I believe in,、mm. then yeah, absolutely. But if like you know, if my party buddy Joe, who drinks beer all the time and has a gut that's so big that he can't see his own toes,、yeah. comes up and、yeah. says, "Yeah, I got this gym supplement, bro. You gotta try.、It. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's all.、Awesome. Joe, have you tried it?" Oh well, no, no. But all my buddies tried, and he's like, "Yeah, you should try it too," because they said it was awesome. You know what? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know.、Oh, yes, I don't know, yes. Right. So, yes. conclusion: you know, two major resources. Number one, people you trust,、mm. and two, your own method of doing your simplified research. That's how you find out what which ones are worth trying. Yes, definitely.、Uh, we have to、um, use the stuff if you want to recommend to other people. So definitely, 
definitely helps to use it yourself or at least have a circle of people yes who have used it that you yes. trust yes and then you got to tell your friend whoever you're recommending it to like because right. transparency is so valuable these days everybody wants to look perfect but not everybody wants to be real and i get it it's hard yes right yes. so if you can have somebody in your life who's real who can just say look mm -hmm. i haven't used it okay but i've got a whole lineup of friends that mm -hmm. have mm -hmm. so i trust them and i'm asking you ask for advice so if you're looking for something i trust them you give it a shot right, right? the worst case happens you don't like it you know? true yes yeah. yes definitely um more research because it's your body your body is the most important most precious asset you will own, you will ever own so definitely do the research too definitely. thank you thank you thank you thank you